Of course, we are going to ask that again tonight. Is this the last time we see LeBron in a Cleveland uniform? we got a couple of these guys' thoughts before the break. What's yours? Yeah, I mean, I think here's the best thing I can say about LeBron's free agency. Everything is on the table. And I know that that sounds like it's a non-answer, but it's actually the truth. There is no scenario that he will not do. There is no pathway he will not check out. He believes at this point in his career, he has got a blank check that he, with everything that he's accomplished, his legacy is, is secure. And if he wants to do something radical, he'll do it. If he wants to play it safe and stay here, he'll do it. And frankly, doesn't care about what any of us think about it. So that means when you think of scenarios that this could be his last game in, in the Cleveland uniform, that this could be the first of three more finals with the Cavs, I'm not ruling anything out because I've seen how this man operates. Well, I mean, it's, it's funny you say nothing. There have been some reports that he'd meet with the Warriors. I, I find that one to be the one. I mean, maybe he'd meet with them. I mean, he'd them, meet I, I with find, them. But I, mean, I find right. that one to be the one that I can't imagine him doing. I'm not ruling anything out. <laughs> there you go. What would you like to see him do, Tracy? If it were you and you were, it was your decision or you were advising him, what do you think he should do? Go to San Antonio. You do? I do. I think him being coached finally by an elite coach and pop, um, teaming up with a, a culture that's already been formed and great role players, another superstar in Kawhi Leonard if he was to sign back with them. I think I LeBron, think sign back I, I think, with that. <laughs> right. I think LeBron fits in well with them. Finally, he's able to be coached by an elite coach in, in Pop. And I just think, you know, that team with LeBron James added, if he was to go west, can compete with anybody in the NBA. All right, Vince, what about you, if it were your decision? I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, see where uh, he goes. Yeah, right? yeah, <laughs> Vince might be joining him. Get that phone number. I don't know. <laughs> it's, I don't know, man. It's a tough. It's, it's tough. I mean, like I said, there's so many options, and they it's all, really not, at the though. end of the day, but at the, <laughs> at the end of the day, they all can make sense. It's something they can make it, make it work. Rachel, I know what he told you, and I believe Kevin Durant's being truthful. Mm -hmm. But if I were LeBron, after the finals are over, I would call Kevin Durant just to see whether he would be interested in joining up this summer. Just to see. It may be a five-second phone call. Congratulations, Dave. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to reset. Okay. Just to well, see. You know what could be Los interesting Angeles is, is out there. Chris Paul is free agent. Paul George is free agent. Boogie Cousins is a free agent. And LeBron. I mean, you'd have to, what team could just clear? You'd have to just clear out the salary. I mean, it's kind of what Miami did. So who else where they play? literally cleared out the hey, salary to bring all those hey, guys. Vince Carter would be a nice, like, That's right, a little, bit, a little veteran presence there or whatever. Ooh. I mean, look, I thought it was interesting on that thread is that KD had a conversation with our friend Sam Amick from USA Today. And Sam brought up to him, I, I'm going to get to this Cavs in one second, but the um, Sam brought up to him, hey, would you have a problem with LeBron walking onto the Warriors? And that was the one time KD sort of, he didn't flat out say, I don't want LeBron here, but it did, he did say it, he wouldn't be encouraged by it. The I Warriors think, situation is I think, what you dream of. Why right, I, I think. But I do want to get to this Cavs outlook because this is something Brian and I have talked about all year. There is, there is part of LeBron that you and I, after talking to him for years, would like to stay in Cleveland, yes. Yes. right? That he knows that his legacy here is sort of matched by the bookends of his career. This is where his home is. It's where his community outreach is. His mother just, he just mm. built his mother a house. I mean, all of that stuff, if it was possible. So I wanted to ask Brian, looking at this, he's got the player option that he's expected to decline to become unrestricted. But whether he stays or leaves, there's no cap space. So if he has talked for the last few days of, hey, there, there's no way I can do this without more elite players by my side, could they bring someone in? If Paul George wanted to come to Cleveland, could they make that work? So the mechanism that they would have to use is that number eight pick. And the other thing is the Cavs honestly believe that they're not that far away from being up to one in this series. And if they had another elite player, maybe they would be. Now we can spend an hour talking about that. I don't necessarily believe that, but they can, they have themselves believe they could get another player. The difficulty, Rachel, is before we get into the machinations of how they could do anything, they would have to move this move at the draft because the value they have is the unused number eight pick. Once it's used, all of a sudden the interest level is way low, even if it's a really good player. But they can't commit to trading that pick and punting on their future unless they know LeBron is staying. Mm -hmm. And LeBron is not going to commit to staying right. until he That's knows whether they're going to do it. We have a chicken and egg problem. If Dan Gilbert and LeBron trusted each other, if Kobe Altman and LeBron had been with each other for 10 years and, and knew each other were going to work, maybe that would happen. But because there's no trust, it becomes somebody's impetus to take the step first. And I just don't see it happening. And so I think it's going to be difficult for the Cavs to materially improve the team unless they know LeBron is in the fold.